Hi, I'm Steve Monaghetti, marathon runner and Ballarat park runner. And a big shout out to all my park running friends locally and all across Australia. If you're tuning in for the first time, Medibank reached out to me to just provide some expertise and a program for you to get through park run the five kilometre distance for the first time or get you ready for when park run returns hopefully not too far away if you're coming back and you've done a couple of weeks of training for this third week of my program then you've done very well you're committed you're making great progress i'm sure you're feeling better for it so well done now just a reminder this program this tips in it is for everybody okay so if you're a, a beginner a regular an elite or someone who's never been to park run before you can do these in your own time and with your own goals in mind so um, feel free to uh, set your own goals and, and get benefit out of it everyone will benefit from it, no matter what level you're at okay now everyone knows before we get going into the session we always do a warm-up so what that means is normally I start with a walk and then I transition into a, a slow jog so why don't you come with me on the walk and I'll just give you a couple of other tips to get the most out of your exercise. Now some things to think about. People often ask me about fueling up on the run. Well in a marathon you do but for a shorter distance in a session like this we're probably okay. You won't need any gels or anything. You might want to maybe have a little glass of water in between the session or in between the warm up and the session. So, And if you've had a good meal the night before, so complex carbohydrates, you know, we talk about pasta, rice, potatoes, those sorts of things, they'll be in your, in your system and you'll get benefit from that. So then if you're doing your session early in the morning, probably just a glass of water when you wake up will be enough. If you've got a little bit of a time before you're doing the workout, maybe you think about having just a couple of pieces of toast and a glass of water just to get you settled your, your stomach down a little bit, but really it's not a lot of benefit. And the other important thing is your clothing and your footwear. So for clothing, you know, in Ballarat, here in Ballarat, we're moving into winter, so I've often got the beanie and gloves on, maybe a, a wind jacket. I love my wind jacket because it's got some pockets in it. If you warm up, you can take the gloves and beanie off and put them in the pocket. So, and they just give you a bit of protection and a bit of warmth when you start. Normally you'll find, actually, once you start, you warm up pretty quickly. So the wind jacket's good because you can take it off and tie it around your waist with the beanie and gloves in the shoes obviously the thing that are contacting the ground really important so try and have a, a good sturdy pair of shoes and like I say worn in but not worn out okay so something that you can trust and that's reliable and change them over pretty regularly you know you probably get six or seven hundred k's out of a pair of runners so make sure you're just uh, uh, wearing them to a good level without wearing them out okay the other thing that people ask me about we talked about do some stretching so some dynamic stretches pretty basic ones I'm not a not a big stretching fan but just some little basic stretches to get you going before the session so something like just moving along just putting your heel to your bum do that while you're walking both legs a couple of times both legs and then some more movement ones so just high knee lifts maybe hands out in front make sure you're getting your, your knees up quite high and almost into that sort of running action sort of running on the spot just to get your legs going a little bit okay shake it out and then some bum kicks if you can get your heel onto your bum so again do it a little bit quickly just so you get your legs going at a faster pace so something like that and then finally maybe just some some walking lunges so Striding out, lunging, swapping legs as you're walking along. So there's just some very basic dynamic stretches just to get you going before the session. Okay, so there we go. We've done our walk, um, done some stretching, and now I would transition into my slow jog just to get my system going. So I'll go off and do that now. <coughs> Okay, 
that's a, that's a shortened version of your warm up. You take a little bit longer with the walking and the stretching and, and the jog. And you know, I mentioned about keeping hydrated. So after that warm up, maybe grab a uh, quick drink. In between. Now we're warmed up. What's our session for this week? Well, for the start up group, we're going to do one minute slower walking and four minutes of faster walking and do that for 25 minutes. So that's five sets of your five minutes. So you can see a, a larger component of the faster walking, more like we're power walking with just a, a little one minute recovery for the startup group. And the beginners, that's actually two minutes of walking and exactly the same two minutes of running. And for 24 minutes, so that the two and two makes four, so that would be six sets to get up to your 24 minutes. And you can see we've increased the running. Now we're actually up to a, a one to one ratio with, with the two minutes of running matching the, the two minutes of walking. And then for the regulars, we're actually one minute of walking, three minutes of running. So really progressing our running now. So, and again for 24 minutes, so um, six sets of the, the four minutes in total. And finally our running group, we're really transitioning now into a bit more speed session, so trying to um, get more like race pace effort. So for the runners, we're going to do a five minute, just easy running at the front end. Then we're going to do four by 500 meters fast running with a 500 meter jog recovery. Okay, so four sets of that, and then another five minutes at the end just to warm out of the session. So, and that, that should be basically at your 5K race pace. And that's, I'll demonstrate, that's the one I'll, um, I'll demonstrate the running session. I'll just do the first set of the four. So think about good technique, running up, running tall, good stride length, nice um, strong arm action, especially today. So think about keeping your technique uh, high at a high level. And effort, so this week, 80% effort. So that's, that's really starting to work now. So you want to in the faster sections of the walking or the running, you want to be really pushing hard and really looking forward to that recovery. And the, it's a shortened recovery in most of the sessions, but you'll really enjoy that because 80% effort you're really putting in this week. So, and as I mentioned, I'll demonstrate the, uh, the runners session this week. So I'll go off, I'll do a, a 500 meter fast run followed by a 500 meter jog recovery. So I'm into my work. So, so for me, that's just over three minute Ks, almost 20 K an hour. That's 80% effort, that's, that's fast going. So I'm really looking forward to this 500 metre jog recovery. Okay, so that's one set. So if you're doing the running session, you would do another three of those to get your four sets of 500 meter fast, 500 meter jog, and that's a real session. So, and that would be the session done then. And of course, just like we warmed up, we reverse that with a warm down. So I'll go off with my slow jog. I even need to, to recover and I've only done one set. So I'll go for a slow jog and then transition to, into a walk. I'll be back soon. So there you have it. That would be uh, session one done and dusted for week three. And I would hope that you do that two or three times across the week. And, and if you think about it, do it somewhere that suits the session. So when you're planning where you're going to do it, you know, the first week we did the video in my driveway and out in the street. Second week we went to a park and the third week 
we're on a walking trail just near my house which is perfect for, for the session that I was doing for the running session so hopefully you get that done two or three times across this week and that would be a good week's work done so uh, that's week three and don't forget to look at the Medibank website check out more videos plenty of advice there to make you eat feel and move better so hopefully you'll be able to do that this week get out there those exercises and videos are for everybody and you can do them in your own time so don't forget eat move and feel better brought to you by Medibank so thanks for joining me look after yourselves and those around you have a great week and I'll see you next week for week four bye for now